I uh, I have not been trolled by any uh, ops on the internet for my fingernails being uh, dirty or long and dirty, long and dirty usually. I'm trying to be proactive here before anybody be hating, start hating, get that pinky nail. You don't wanna, you don't want people to think you're hanging with those of ill repute. But uh, we're gonna do a ring today. Uh, I have this. 18 gauge square wire 18 gauge square wire that I got from Rio and I have my little sizer here guys I don't know if you guys have one of these I I've had this for years and I just keep it on a hook in my studio I have some calculations and some charts that I use that I just kind of have on my phone but I thought I'd share with this with you guys I'm gonna do uh you guys saw the thumbnail, so you guys know what kind of ring I'm going to make. So, thinking that if I want to make it about an average size of 7, maybe. Because I'm thinking this would probably have like a... I just think a, a person with a smaller finger would appreciate this ring a little bit more than a dude with the big old fat finger. Or a chick with the big old fat finger. Well, maybe a chick with the big fat finger would like this. Let's go in the middle. Let's go about a size 8. So I'm going to melt the balls at the end. So I want to give it about this much material on that end and this much material on that end. So according to our calculations is 75 mil. When you're a jeweler, you say mil. This is 75 mil square wire, 18 gauge. So we're going to bend the balls and we're going to wrap them and then we're going to make them go like this. It's not... An original idea I did see it somewhere but I'm an, I'm just gonna do my own version of it and it's probably gonna be a little bit uglier but hey it's an eye of the beholder 75 push it down the line another 75 push it down the line Seventy-five doesn't have to be perfect, guys. As long as we have enough to make a ball at the end, a funky ball. Get funky with it. Oh, seventy-five. Dude, should I put some copper in this? <gasps> that would be cool. Didn't see that. Oh no, we're going rogue already, friends. We just started this process and we're going rogue. Coffee with the straw. Mm. Now if I'm smart enough to know where the dang line is. Okay, there we go. There's one. I don't know why I'm doing this. Probably just to make sure. Double check like a professional. Yeah. Just make sure our lines are off. Because, you know, sometimes I start talking. And uh, I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I've just recently learned how to talk and do jewelry at the same time, which is, was kind of a challenge for me because I'm like, dude, I'm not used to this. I never talk and do jewelry. I always do it, I do it in silence. I suffer in silence. Okay. Ooh. Now if we add a little bit of copper in there, melt the ends, I think that can be quite amazing. Let's uh, let's go with that. All right, partners. We have a 16 gauge copper wire right here. And we're gonna give it the old 75 mil. We're gonna throw a couple of these in there, guys. I, I know some people don't like copper. Some people love it. So this is gonna be particular to somebody who is cool with it. I'm not gonna put too, put too much, just enough to give it that, that look that it won't um, make somebody's finger turn green. Um, maybe I'll keep in touch with whoever ends up with this ring and just tell them to give me some feedback on it or I could just make it and wear it myself, but that's no fun. I like talking to people. I like talking to people say, how's your stuff doing? Like, oh man, I'm doing great. Some people are like, 
Actually, it's kind of pinching here. Do you think we can do an adjustment? I'm like, heck yeah. Yeah, you just, sometimes you have to do that as a jewelry designer, guys. And I have pretty good relationships with my clients. So I'm always happy. I'm always happy to like help them. All right, muchachos, we are here. We have a uh, 75 millimeter, two coppers and one, two, three, four, five wires. Uh, silver. So I'm going to do the silver one first, just so you guys know what I'm kind of working, what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to melt the very, very tip and then I'm going to use the block um, to kind of form it a little bit. So I want for it to be a teardrop. I don't want it to be, I want it to be kind of bendy. I don't know if I want it that bendy. Maybe that bendy. You can see how you can adjust the bend in the way that you now I have not done copper in a while, so I don't remember. I think copper has a higher melting point than silver. Get a nice little bendy bend. Come on, Johnny. Be nice to me, be nice. It is different. It does have like a, a different quality to it, actually. Interesting. I'm gonna do the other one right now since it's fresh in my mind. I probably need to have a little higher heat maybe. It doesn't give as nice teardrop as, but I've seen it. What am I doing wrong? Let's see, what is learn here. We're gonna learn together, friends. There. It's, I don't know, it's interesting, it's different. Silver is just a lot more pretty all right Juanitosville we are here we have all of the wires that we melted the ends on and I could do them all at once or do them one at a time I'm kind of a idiot so let's do it all at once wham kids all at once like a dunce bam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these all into a circle and then I'll manipulate them to go through each other and then pound it again and mash it. I don't want to make them go like, like, a, like fingers like this or every other one. I want it to be a little bit more random, but I'm going to look at it and see what looks official like a military missile. I don't know how to do this, guys. I don't know if I have to do one at a time. That'd be pretty lame. I'm just gonna go for it. Just press. Full court press, baby. Before the basketball hurt. Heads out there. What's going on? This is like the moment of no return at the end of the movie. It's like, I gotta hit the target. Gotta hit the target. Like what? How many movies are we gonna? How many times are we gonna fall for that one? You know, the end of the movie, the moment of no return. It's now or never, Johnny. You know, and everybody's like leaning on the edge of their seat. You can't no, don't know what's gonna. You know what's gonna happen. You guys have a drive-in where you live at, guys. I have a drive-in where I live, and it's rad. Super rad. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to focus on this because I can't think and talk at the same time. Juanitosville, dang, look how cool that looks. Can you guys see that? Still needs a little bit more work, but I'm getting there. Like, like the one I saw looked all like... This looks like a naughty brat. The other one I saw looked like a well-behaved child. All right, friends, this is very experimental. I've never done this before. I... I, this is what I thought might work. I don't know. So I'm going to start with, uh, I made a little tiny, I couldn't stamp my name in it. So I made a little tiny inside that goes inside the ring and it'll go, I'll put it, place it on the bottom and I'm going to put a bunch of solder on it and hopefully it helps, um, keep the, that bottom together. I, 
I'll, I'll deal with the top later, but I really want that bottom. And this could be a disaster, guys. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, I don't know, dudes. But we're going to just have faith in the jewelry gods. They're going to do, do us right. Do us right, jewelry gods. I hope you can see what I'm going to do. I'm put it here. That was what I was concerned with. Use the weight of the piece to hold the thing down. I think it may be in my dreams. I'm not convinced, guys. I'm really not convinced. Okay, I might have to put you guys on pause. All right. Um, right. I'm going to fight with this for a while, but I don't want you guys to see. Guys, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm frustrated with trying to get this video set up. And I need to have good energy when I do this. Okay, I did flux. I wasn't I was unable to get the boom to sit in there because my fingers are too fat apparently or something. And go on a finger diet. Okay, alright, alright. Clean, clean energy. Let's get this hot. Let's get this hot. Give it a light squeeze. Believe in it? I believe in that. Okay. Unwrap it, quench it, and see what we're working with. All right, guys. So this is what we're working with at this point. Um, it's into two. It's connected in the top, but down here it's two, or I guess three. But I can work with that a lot easier than I can work with all of them falling all over the place. So I think now I could probably set it where I can put this, the, uh, trademark underneath it which is full of solder and might add additional bonding stabilization do i sound smart yes i don't all right guys we're gonna go for it i got it set up against this wire i'm gonna give it the old fumbaruski guys solder is on the back of that nameplate and we're just gonna give it some action see if it wants to be nice to us the bottom of the ring is against the block, so we know the block is going to be a pretty significant heat sink. But the piece is insulated by a lot of wire and some space, so I think we're good. I think I saw it run. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Cool. cool. We're going to go with that. We're going to believe in it, guys. We're going to believe. I believe in that. This is so ghetto looking right now, but man, guys, just believe. Just believe! A little more action on the solder on the back of this, friends. We're not gonna, uh, we're gonna go out like that. We're gonna believe in the gods. It's gonna make this look so cool. You don't know how to ease my pain. You don't know you tell now. See, they had emo rap in the 80s. Be nice to me, guys. Be nice. Be gentle. Be nice. Be gentle. Be nice and gentle. Be nice and gentle. Oh, I think we got it, guys. The Simpsons. This is what my brain said to do. I said, what would a smart person do? And that's what a smart person would do. Okay, friends. So we're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. We are going to put some heat on this bad boy. Put some solder. Good old-fashioned solder. Right here. Another piece over here. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna be shy. I ain't gonna be shy about it, friends. God, you can't do a job. Go. Did that stay? No, it did not. Nothing stayed. Okay, calm down, John Rambo. Do your job. Focus. Focus power. Give it the old squeezerooski. Okay, I think we have some. 
Yeah. I might have overdone it a little bit, friends, but god dang. All right, mocosos. Uh, this is what we have, and I put it here. These tops are not bonded, but I did get a pretty decent. And I, I kind of hammered it and shaped it, and I got a nice. It's one. These are a little flimsy. If they were, if you were like, if you were fighting somebody in a wool jacket, it might get caught. So. In case if the owner of this ever decides to fight somebody in a wool jacket, we don't want to have issues with our piece, friends. So we're going to experiment here. I don't know. I'm going to put some pieces of saw. I'm going to flux. I'm going to put some pieces of solder strategically and hope for the best. Oh, no. My thing got full. Sometimes the... Flux will get clogged in there, and you got to use a little needle. Blam! Blam! But I'm going to really try to be mindful right here where the copper and the silver meet. Right here, I know there's one copper right there. And I want for my solder to be right in the pocket. So we're going to just really, really, really just try to get our, our heat to be right where we want it. Bam! Got it. Got it, friends. Okay. One more. Um, well, probably not one more, but here. I'm going to put another one right here, right in this little pocket. Wave, wave. I believe in that guys but we're gonna keep moving I wonder if I should maybe put it on the under Ugh. I know there's a little conglomeration going on right here so let's get this hot let's see if we can attack this conglomeration right in this little area I can see the silver it's about wanting to conglomerize Okay, 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 we're gonna go like this. Conglomerize. Okay, we're good right there. This one right here, I wanted to. Make sure we're good with it, we are. Okay, friends, I think we're gonna believe in that. You guys are here in the trenches, friends. We are in the trenches. There we go, there we go, there we go, friends. There we go, let's just give it a little pinchy pinch. We're gonna believe in that, we're gonna believe in that. Okay, Um. wonder if right there, I think we're good. I think right here we're good, because that's under that. Um, finding a wool, somebody in a wool jacket, probably right here would be a place to touch, a contact place. We're in the trenches, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna short you guys on this one. I know there's people out there learning this stuff and why they would be on this channel watching me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is the copper tip, I can tell because it's not very uniform. I got a nice little something there. Let's give it a little pinch. Come on, come on, come on. Be homies. Oh, they're not homies. I, I really want those two to be homies, but I don't think they are, guys. I don't think they like each other. This one. 
this little guy over here. Looks a little straggly. Looks like a straggler. I thought this is the one I already did. Maybe it came off. Let's give it some love. Come on, Hans. Okay, I don't know if that was what I wanted. It didn't break. Well, that's good. Okay, I think we want it like that. Okay, I feel good with that. It did a little click over. I hope you guys saw that. Um, and it tightened it because it was kind of hanging off. And that's okay because that's cool design. But if I, I'd rather have sturdy than more design. Thanks for watching all that. I know it was long, but... All right, Juanitosville. This is what we turned out with, man. Um, I, I just did a little bit of yellow um, rotating wheel, what do they call that? The 3M wheels, silicone discs. I did yellow on it. The copper ended up next to each other. I, thought I, was gonna, I, was, I tried to make them separate, but I don't know. I think it looks cool that they're together. And uh, I didn't work on the inside yet, but I do have the boom little piece that we put in there. And this is what it turns out. The next one you'll see will be its uh, probably music video debut. But look at the depth in there. How cool that looks. It turned out to be a size six and a half, I believe. Yeah, kids. It is official like a military missile. And it is a size six and a half. It will be a size six and a half when it's all said and done. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the process. As always, uh, like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. My channel is so small, I can literally like respond to everybody. So that's cool, which I like, man. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, friends, and we'll catch you with your flip-flops on. Catch you on the flip side, I meant.